Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to go over a new feature that's being added into the BNS multi-tool. There's a lot of stuff being crammed into this new update, but I kind of want to specifically go over the local DAT patching. As some of you may know, I've been distributing a custom local DAT file that has a lot of text stripped out of it, which then gives you increased performance in Blade and Soul. And so I'm sort of adding this functionality into my launcher by default. This was originally done by someone else and I was just distributing it for everyone else to enjoy because they didn't want to be bothered. But eventually he sort of uh, made a tool set and then provided it. And now I'm incorporating that tool set into my tool so that everyone can do it. And I don't have, they don't have to rely on me distributing, um, local dat files for newer versions of the game when there's an update and if people want to do their own custom text they can do it quite easily so let's go ahead and get into that real quick and uh, this will be a pretty short video there's a lot of other stuff in this video there's a lot of other stuff in this update that I'm not gonna really go over right now this is just one that I want to go over because well it's kind of a big deal <clears throat> So when you go into the mod tab, there's going to be a new button called local dat. When you click this button, it's going to open a whole new window. And this is how you're going to apply custom local dats or patch them yourselves. So on the right hand, on the right hand side at the very top, you have preset filters. Preset filters are filters that were designed by us, which are used in what we distribute. Um, so if you're playing an NA, you want to select the playable NAEU if you want the playable version or if you want the minimalistic version, you can select minimum. We're going to do playable just for an example. Uh, if you're in KR, because I am adding support to my launcher for KR, you'll have to select the KR one because this has additional filters specifically for KR. Um, but yeah, <laughs> when you select a new filter, uh, a bunch of text is going to pop up. This is basically our list of filters that are going to show or basically allow our text as to what individual filter does. Um, we'll start off with the pound key or a hashtag. This is basically used as a comment. So as you can see, I have hashtag include most UI text. This is just letting you know that this is going to include most UI text. Now there is a minus key right here before it does UI dot max level guide. And what this do what this does is this excludes max UI dot max level guide dot whatever's after it, and also excluding UI dot action dot credit. It's excluding all this out of UI dot because we're including everything in UI dot right here. This is going to be most of the UI stuff. I'll have a link to the GitHub for the source code for all this, and it has more information by the person that made this, which is Cedro. Please don't bother him. So, yeah. If you want to edit this, you can just add in new text. So we'll do, let's say a minimum version. Let's say on the minimum version, I want to show my FPS. I could do show, hashtag show FPS. And then for the filter, I'll put UI.FPS, all capitalization or all capital. Blah, blah, blah. And then you have that. So now the minimum version will now show your FPS label, alias key, whatever. As far as finding these keys, you're going to have to pull apart the local file and then local file dot bin. And you're going to have to find this on your own. I'm not going to babysit you. I'm not going to tell you what is what you're going to have to figure this out on your own. You can either use our pre you could use my preset filters or you can just actually, you know, apply yourself and learn. But uh, we're going to save this as minimal. With FPS. We'll hit save and then you'll see that your custom filters comes in here. I have some other custom filters just as a test and then you'll have that. <clears throat> but we're going to apply the playable one just for demonstration. Uh, there will also be an installation for SIG bypasser. It'll detect if it's installed or not. This is required to modify the local.dat file. If you do not have SIG bypasser, you want to install it. So. For testing purposes, I'll go ahead and install it, even though I do not use SIG Bypass here. This is a visual bug. This will be fixed later. Um, additionally, you can patch a specific version of the local dat file. So if you want to patch only the 
for the only 32 bit you can uncheck 64 and then 64 will have all your default text and stuff like that and only the 32 bit version will be patched and vice versa but for me i'm going to patch both of them so we'll just hit patch <coughs> Pretty easy process and I will pull over my English directory for the local file as you can see the local dot dat and the local 64 dot dat has been stripped down and is now a much smaller file size there is additionally a backup created this is used for loading the backup so if you hit load default and you have text back to the way that it was now additionally with my updater Every time there's a game update and you update with the game updater inside of my tool, the local dat file is going to be patched over with the correct version that it should be. So you're going to have to patch this every time there's a new patch. But it will no longer your local files will no longer be corrupted because I have fixed that inside of the updater code. If you're using the NC launcher to update your game, it might have problems or it might just fix itself, you never know. Um so yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, additionally, with support, you'll be able to patch it for your language set. So, you know, if you're using Portuguese language set or German French, you can patch these files over as well. So I'll go ahead and I have French selected, right? Yes, I do. Okay, good. <coughs> so let's say I want to run, we'll do just an example. Right, let's say I want to run minimum with FPS in the French version. There we go, the French version now has minimum and so forth, so forth, so forth. You pretty much get the idea. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to have more coming out, possibly going over some other stuff. But uh, y'all have a good day. See you in the next one.